All right, guys, I had a few people ask me, how do I make money online? Um, now, there's multiple ways I do it, but this is one of the ones that's paying off really well at the moment, which is basically trading online. Um, this is Neo today. Um, as you can see, it's in a bit of a dip. Um, this little trade down here, which is, I've just sold that for, and then you've got those three buy-ins, which is basically just about $4.33. Um, and that's just a small trade on this because it's quite volatile at the moment because Bitcoin's just gone on a run. But I trade that one several times a day when I can because uh, it's a nice little earner. Um, I want to have a look at SafeX as an example of some of the ones that are quite good. Um, SafeX, I originally bought in at less than one cent and... Uh, I've sold a few of them today. Where are you? I've sold 33,000 of them today, um, which gave me a profit of about $1,000 profit um, on what I paid for them. Um, I'm looking to wait for this to drop again, and I'm going to do a buy in, but also I've got a trading bot that's actually trading as well. Yeah, which let's have a look at the dashboard. You'll be able to see the little guy running. He's actually trading on a lot of different uh, trading partners called pairs, um, which is different coins matching for the, the trading on the markets. So that's basically it. You know, this is one of the, the main ways I make money. Does it pay? Well, I've been living on trading for about six months now. There you go. It's just sold some by itself. Um, because it's now selling that, it's expecting the market to dip. Because if you use things like uh, let's have a little Bollinger Bands, where are you? Da -da -da -da, that is Bollinger Bands, you can get an idea of where the market's going. You see where it follows a trend, see it knows it's that that's on a dip, but once it heads towards the, the lower band, that's a buying time because it's likely to go back up. Um, basic trading um but i'm finding it works really well i mean today i've i've took out over a thousand euros um and just bought a big tv last week and we've all got new mobile phones and stuff and if you want to know how much i started with on this um i actually started with only four hundred dollars and as you can see, there's 11, over 11,000 in the account. I've just transferred a load of cash out. And quite simply, I'm doing okay at it. Um, I've, I'm not going to go through all my accounts. Um, but at the same time, it's if you've got the ability and can see the markets and how they move and willing to study the trends, there is some good money to be made. But in the same way, you can lose money as well. Because like I said, I bought this one at less than a cent. It's gone to four cents. It's dropped off now. But then if we go over coin market cap, I'll give you some of the other ones I've had quite a good run on. I bought Neo at $4. This is at 36 67 I've bought and sold that multiple times. I do that weekly. EOS, about two weeks ago, I bought it for $1. I think it's $1.30. It's at $4.50 now. Uh, Lisk is another one I bought cheap. I've already sold all my Lisk, so I'm waiting for that to come down a bit again because I think that'll head to about seven dollars, and then I'll reinvest in that. Uh, Litecoin bought Litecoin at forty-two dollars. Uh, what else have we got? And obviously you've got the Bitcoin that's just going off its head at the moment. It's heading towards thirteen thousand um, dollars. A few people are like, "Oh, it's a Ponzi scheme," you know, because it's trading. Uh, there's entire companies built on this now. And the other thing people forget is it's impossible for Bitcoin to be a Ponzi scheme because it's actually just a currency. It doesn't have the, the functions to be a Ponzi scheme or a pyramid or a bubble because the bubble, pyramid and everything else rely on constant payouts, etc. Bitcoin doesn't have that ability. It's a currency. It's not um, trading in that way. It's, it's impossible to use it that way. If you ask me is for example BitConnect is that a Ponzi I would say yes it is it's quite a large one uh, Regal Coin is it a Ponzi yes it is 
another large one. Um, there's loads of Ponzi's in the system, but that's why you do your research, because like 10x here, it's actually a prepayment card system. Uh, what else have we got? Well, Neo is one of my favorites. Neo is actually a platform for developing other stuff on the blockchain. And it's, it's its own blockchain. EOS is very similar in that sense. It's another one. Um, yeah, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of stuff that people simply just don't understand about the markets. And that's why I say if you do think, well, I'll, I'll give it a try with $50 or 100 or 50000 um, do your research. Because, like, for example, gas here is linked to uh, NEO because to actually move stuff around on NEO, you use gas. Um, which has now gone up to 19, 1898. I've got some more of that in another wallet, in one of my crypto wallets, the same as EOS is in another crypto wallet. Um, yeah, it's all sorts. But that's all part and parcel. There's no point me trying to tell you guys what to do on this stuff because I tell you what, I'm not taking the risk with your money. You take your risk with your own, your own money um, because it's not guaranteed... Uh, for example, Ethereum, I've got Ethereum and I bought some of that around, I think it was like two, two or three hundred dollars. And that's gone at 440, but you can see it's going down a little bit. But that's going to go up. I know that's going to go up. But even with me saying that, I don't, I can't be bothered with people telling me, Matt, you told me it would do this. Do your own research. Um, but there is money in this, like this. I've got some money locked in Dash at the moment, only about a hundred dollars. I've now got to ride that until it gets a nice spike. But as you get more cash into it, the easier it gets. It certainly does. All right, thanks for watching.